Hey G fans, Steve Blanker here again. This is part three of the generator rebuild project. Um, maybe it might be better to call it refurbishment because I'm not necessarily going to completely redo everything on it. We're going to fix up what needs to be fixed and repair and, and get it back work, cleaned up and working again. So part three here. Um, yesterday uh, I showed you how to remove the brushes, how to get ready to pull the, uh, the pulley off, uh, remove the wiring. So I've done all that. I've taken the pulley, I've removed the key from the shaft. I've got the brushes out, the wiring's disconnected. I made some little notes about my wiring just so I know how to put it back together again. So I'm ready to go ahead and remove the end caps and, and pull the armature out. So I'm going to set the uh, camera right over here and hopefully this will uh, be okay so you can see what's going on here. So what I'm going to do, uh, first I need to remove the two long screws that hold it all together. So I'm going to Take these out. They just pull right out like that. One on each side. And these are the only things that hold the generator together. That and 70 years of rust and crud and grease and such. So, okay, so those two screws are out. So it's ready to come apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a soft dead blow hammer and I'm gonna tap on the end bells. I'm gonna pull it out it doesn't really matter, but I usually like to pull it out from the armature, I mean from the uh, pulley end first, and that'll bring the armature out with it. So I'm just going to hold on to it, and I'm going to tap on these to break it loose. That's all it takes, and then pull the armature out. That easy. So now if there's a bearing in here, so it's tight on the shaft, so I'll take this up on the press and just press the, the shaft out of the bearing, so that's easy enough. Okay, and then the other end comes off also. It's just grease and grime holding it together, and that pulls out. So now we're down to our three basic pieces. You can get a good view here of the, uh, let me put a little more light, well, that helps a little bit. You can get a good view here of the end cap with your two brush holders and the bronze bushing in there. And we'll take this all apart later and clean everything out. And then looking inside the actual generator housing, as I said, the wiring's very quite very simple on this. Um, so you got from the the A terminal here, you got two leads that are soldered to the bottom. But one goes over here to the field coil on the left side, and the other one goes to that brush that's over here on this side. The other end of the field coil comes off the, the back side of the other um, of the other field coil lead comes off the back side of the right hand field coil over here and then it goes up to the field terminal which is the smaller one back here so as you can see the wiring is very simple on it there's not there's really not much to it but again just make your notes make sure you uh, you know where things go and, and uh, so you can put it back together right so that's the main breakdown the next thing I need to do is go ahead and take this up to the press and push press this uh, the shaft out of the pulley I'm sure out of the uh, bearing and then I'll remove that bearing and I'll get a new bearing to put in there. These are standard, um, shoot, I forget the bearing number now. I don't want to quote you the wrong one, but they're very common bearings. You get them at any auto parts store. They're man, around 10 bucks or so. Um, now I usually, I prefer to re replace the standard, the original open bearings with sealed bearings. That way it stays clean. You know, if they add lubricant to it, um, for as much use as, as these get, the seal bearings work great. The last just about forever and keeps the generator a whole lot cleaner on the inside. So that's about it for this episode. Um, then after I take this apart, next time um, we're gonna, I'm going to clean up the armature and we're going to see how to test the armature for both opens, shorts, and grounds for all three three types of tests. And then we'll look at cleaning up the commutator uh, and and just cleaning up the armature in general and get it all, all prepared ready to reuse. This looks pretty good. The commutator doesn't have a lot of wear, which is really good. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's not worn and dished from the brushes. It looks nice and smooth. Um, the undercutting between the commutator bars, and we'll talk about this more later, but the undercutting is still good. There's still a, a gap between each one, which is important. Um, so yeah, this looks pretty good. So I think I will be, uh, be able to get this one uh, all fixed up and working good as new. Okay, that's it for this, this time. Um, I'll get back with you guys later. Take care.